Problem number three. Write a program that's going to print a 10 by 10 rectangle of asterisks. Well, I've got this from problem number two, and I know that these top two lines are going to print me 10 asterisks. I go ahead and run that, and I've got my 10 asterisks. What I need is the ability to take these lines right here, these two lines that print 10 asterisks, and repeat those 10 times. That's easy enough. I can take those lines and put them in another for loop for j in range 10. And then I need to take these and indent them one tab stop. Take a look at what I've got. This is my original code. It makes 10 asterisks going across. This will repeat that original code 10 times. I've got both an i and a j variable. I don't want i here and i here. You could do that, but it's just really weird. Typically, we often actually make this i in the inside loop j. I think I'll go back and actually change that. But we start with i for, I for increment, and then we just start going up for there. i, j, k, if you start nesting loops. In this case, I've only got one nested loop. Not really a big deal. I'm going to go up here, take this make this an I, make this a J. So if another programmer looks at it, it's not going to look different than what he expects. This is close to working. I hit and oh look at that. I've actually got one hundred that is ten and then I've done it ten times asterisks all on the same line. That is not what I want. I need to go to a new line. How do I go to a new line? Well, we know how to do that. Print, open, close parentheses. That takes us to a new line. Hit save, run the program. Oh man. Now what I have, I've got 100 asterisks up and down. I don't have a 10 by 10 grid by any means. If I take a look, Remember, this repeats these lines 10 times. And this is really, this whole thing, my row. But if every time I print an asterisk, I immediately follow it by a new line, this is what I'm getting. Asterisk, new line, asterisk, new line, asterisk, new line. I don't want to put the new line until I've printed 10 asterisks. I need to take this and unindent it one tab stop. I don't want to unindent it two tab stops. That would be wrong. Let's see why. If I unindent two tab stops, what happens is I print 100 asterisks. All of this finishes the 100 asterisks, and then I print a new line. What I want to have happen I want to print those 10 asterisks and then a new line. Repeat 10 asterisks, new line, 10 asterisks, new line. So I need this to line up with this for loop. Where you put that for, that last print, is a rather important part of how this works. Hit F5. Great, finally, I've got a 10 by 10 asterisk. 